Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about Chinese New Year. It is currently Chinese New Year's Eve right now and I have a lot of eggs with me because I'm going to be making a dish. It's called three colored egg. I'm going to separate the egg whites and the yolk. Chinese New Year, also known as Lunar New Year, which celebrates the beginning of a new year on the traditional Chinese calendar, is a time for families to be together. Wherever they are, people are expected to be home to celebrate the festival with their families. My grandparents woke up bright and early to start prepping for the dinner of Chinese New Year's Eve, as it is the most important meal throughout the entire year. To give you an idea on the importance of Chinese New Year, it is like a mashup of Thanksgiving and Christmas combined and is the most important holiday for the Chinese and people in many other Asian cultures. Remembering and showing respect for our ancestors is a vital part of Chinese New Year. Here, my grandma has placed food and burned incense on home altars devoted to those who had passed on. Although I don't know much about these traditional practices, I'm doing my best by following my grandma's footsteps. Most reunion dinners, which are held on Chinese New Year's Eve, will include a whole chicken, symbolizing prosperity and togetherness of the family, and a whole fish, symbolizing surplus, prosperity, and abundance. For this reason, fish is intentionally left unfinished to be kept for the next day. Having been born and raised in Canada, I haven't had many opportunities to celebrate Chinese New Year in Taiwan. And I'm just feeling so lucky to be here, feeling so grateful to be surrounded by so many relatives and loved ones in this special holiday season. The red envelope is a traditional gift for children during Chinese New Year. The red color of the envelope symbolizes good luck and is a symbol to ward off evil spirits. New, clean, crisp notes are placed inside the red envelope as a token of good fortune in the coming new year. Fireworks are set off at the stroke of midnight to scare away evil spirits and celebrate the coming of the new year. I literally spent hours peeping through my bedroom window to look at the fireworks because they just keep on coming. My family and I woke up at 4.30 to visit the temple early morning of Chinese New Year. Worshipping in temples is one of the many important traditions on Lunar New Year in Taiwan because it is said to bring good luck for the whole year ahead. I hope that you enjoyed this Lunar New Year vlog in Taiwan. Just a disclaimer that this vlog is solely based on how my family celebrates Chinese New Year and that it may vary across different families and different cultures. A very happy new year to you all, wishing you a year ahead filled with lots of love, abundance, and happiness. I'll see you all next time.